Hi, I'm, in Ken, I'm Ken Hastings. We'd like to take a short tour of the Western Parkway issues this morning. This is part of the Waldorf Station project. Uh, Western Parkway starts down near the mall and ends today at Pierce Road, just north of Home Depot. Um, this whole process here is about making room for a Walmart Supercenter with no regard for the environmental threats or public quality of life. And you can see, see why right now this traffic is just horrendous and it's a Sunday morning. Many would argue that a big box store is not appropriate for the gateway to Charles County. Let's take a short field trip and see what's really at stake. Okay, trying to get a break in the traffic here. Uh, just to my right is uh, the Madam Woman Beantown Light, which was the terminus for the northern, uh, for the Western Parkway, where it first starts just uh, below the Prince George's County line. I'm going to show you some of the surrounding area where the parkway is going to go eventually if this project ever gets approved. Right now I'm looking at the, um, at the trees across the Cheney parking lot, and as I pan this around, we'll head over here and look across the ball field. And notice all these trees that I'm showing you are along the, the wetlands of uh, Mattawoman Creek. And all of these trees are eventually going to have to go one way or the other. And over in this area, and we're going to see this a little better later on, uh, is something called the Northern RPZ. It actually starts right about there. And uh, the road would go through that and continue on south down toward um, uh, Pierce Road. And we're going to go over to the uh, Northern uh, RPZ and look at it now when we get over to Madam Woman uh, Drive. Uh, I'll see you over there. Okay, we're over here at, uh, at Madam Woman Drive now. Uh, Madam Woman Drive uh, light at 301 is to your right along with the Cheney building. Uh, the Sonic Drive-In is, uh, is to her back up by the 301. And we're looking at, uh, we're continuing to look at the trees where the Western Parkway is going to go ultimately given the alignment that the applicant is is pushing for uh, which isn't about a parkway at all it's all about a Walmart Supercenter for the uh, gateway to Charles County um, what I'm coming up to now to our left here is a resource protection zone uh, it has a fancy sounding name but in Charles County it doesn't mean very much it just means another place to build roads and collect trash uh, this RPZ which is probably uh, 100 yards long uh, it will be uh, wiped out completely by the extension of Madam Woman Drive to make room for the trucks to go to Walmart. The pavement ends right here today, but it won't end right here uh, for very long if uh, Walmart gets its way. Now, so this is where the Walmart store and this huge parking lot of 20 acres will go if uh, the special exception is, is approved and the developer gets his way, everything that I'm panning right now, all the trees, all the buildings, coming up on the church, all these trees in the background, those trees are along the uh, Matter Woman Creek uh, wetlands and floodplain. And over this way, we're getting, to, we're starting to look further south now toward the southern RPZ, which didn't actually get hit too hard by the road, but uh, some of the trees are going to have to go in order to make room for the huge Walmart footprint. Um, next thing we'll do, let's check out the site plan. So we're standing right about here. We're Madam Woman Drive ends today, and right next to the RPZ that we have today, but doesn't show in this drawing. Notice that there is an RPZ on this end that's still left. That's known as the Southern RPZ. And while the roadway comes through that, it doesn't do nearly as much damage there as it does over here. Also note that the Walmart store, here's the footprint right here, and the associated parking uses up just about every square inch of space in here and this is where the stormwater management facility has to go and it's also kind of convenient that the roadway 
here is arranged exactly the way Walmart needs it. Notice that Madam Woman Drive extended all the way down to here is needed so the trucks can make their way in here and go behind the loading dock and come out the other side. So all the roadways and proximity to 301 and the arc of the Western Parkway, it's all oriented around the, the Walmart store itself. So you have, to, you have to ask yourself, well, wasn't there a better way? Why, if you just wanted a road and you didn't know it was going to be a Walmart in advance, why didn't you do it in a different way? This is a very simple, better way to do this. In this case, I've uh, proposed that they move the Western Parkway closer to 301 and avoid this arc through the wetlands and the floodplain on this side. Also note that uh, before we had an intersection right here with Madam Woman Drive, but now Madam Woman Drive does intersect there and it does not pass through the RPZ that is there today, but won't be there if this, if this gets approved. We kept the terminus on the other side the same as what the applicant wanted. That's not, that's not required. This was just a first cut to show how things could be made better. And uh, I think you can see that this is better environmentally. However, it does have a downside because if you were planning around a Walmart store all along, you can't have your Walmart store this way. It doesn't fit. You've already taken it off the back of it uh, with the, where the loading dock is and over here where the stormwater management facility would be. Uh, that's all gone now, even though you've done all these other good things. So this won't work if you have to have a Walmart. And you can't have a Walmart if you do it this way or any of the other many ways. You can come over here like this and save even more of the environment. But each one of those makes it less probable that you can have a Walmart, especially a one-story Walmart with close to 200,000 square foot of uh, a footprint. So I think you can make a compelling argument that the road and the interior roads, the parkway, everything was built around the Walmart from the very beginning. And so all these environmental threats, they're all because of Walmart. Well, that concludes today's little field trip. Uh, what we've seen here today is that uh, the damage is going to happen because the Walmart footprint is too large, and it's probably the wrong kind of store to have in this area anyway. Uh, the good news is the Board of Appeals could vote to deny the application, and that would force the applicant to do a better job. The bar is not very high, so it should get a whole lot better if they would just go ahead and, and deny the application. Um, I'm going to, uh, at the end of this, I'll post a, uh, a, a target with the ways that you can get involved and you can talk to the Board of, send stuff to the Board of Appeals uh, by email or by uh, address. Um, hope you enjoyed our little outing today. Uh, thanks for coming along.